Hey Coral, it's Miss Hogg here. Uh, for this power session, I am meeting with a local artist at her studio. A studio is a place where artists create. Let's meet her now. Could you tell us who you are and what you do? I am Natalie Volker, and I am an artist, specifically a painter. So I make oil paintings, uh, mostly of people. All right. So you just said um, oil paintings? Mm -hmm. That would be the kind of art? Do you, um, do you do murals too? Oh yes, I also do murals. So I have some around the city, like a big one that I just did at Sunport Pool. And there's another big mural um, of two women that is right off Broadway, a little bit south of Central. And I have a mural inside the Harwood Art Center as well. Oh wow, so like the students could go check those out if they want. Yeah. All right. Um, I wonder, so we have these things called North Stars and leadership traits at our school, and I wonder if any of those might apply to you in the work that you do. So maybe a North Star? Um, it's hard worker a North Star? Yeah. All right. Um, well, being a hard worker is very important to working as an artist professionally. A lot of people like to make art and do it for fun, which is awesome. And, but if you're doing it to make a living, it's really important to make work even when you don't feel like it because you can't let people down if you're making something for them, for someone that they're going to buy. Um, or if you're making a mural, you have to get it done on time for the business or the city or whoever hired you to do it. Um, so hard working, being a hard worker is really important to being an artist. All right, thank you. Um, what about a leadership trait? A leadership trait that's important to being an artist. Well, there's lots of them, but the main one that I want to talk about is being proactive. Because one of the most exciting things about being an artist is that you kind of get to do whatever you want. I make paintings so I can paint whatever I want. Um, and sometimes that's challenging because I have to keep making them. So if I wake up one day and I think, oh, I don't really feel like painting today. I'd rather just go run around in the woods or go camping. Um, I can't do that. I have to be proactive and think of something that I want to make and then actually follow through, get all my supplies, make the painting. Um, and then I have to go out and make sure I show it to people too because I don't just want to make these paintings. I want to sell them. So an important part of being proactive is even if I'm a little bit nervous or afraid that people might not like my work, I still have to just be brave and put the work out there. Wow. Could you um, tell us maybe about one of your greatest successes? Well, something that I'm really proud of is I made a really large painting of this woman named Devetta, and she's a local woman here in Albuquerque. And a couple years ago, I submitted it to a competition at the National Portrait Gallery in London, and they accepted it. So I flew the painting to London, and it was shown at the National Portrait Gallery. And I was so wow. proud that this woman, Devetta, that's really a cool person, um, that her image and a painting of her got to be in this very prestigious um, gallery in the company of um, work by really great artists. So I'm very proud of that. That's amazing. On the opposite end of that, can we talk about failure? Like what's something you've learned from failure? Oh, failure's a part of doing anything. Um, because if you try, there's always gonna be fails. And especially if you're doing something that's very creative, you just absolutely have to be willing to fail. So I make lots of paintings that no one ever sees. I try new materials and sometimes it goes great and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so for me, I just think I get the credit for trying a new thing, for putting it out there. Um, so a fail isn't always exactly a fail because um, like I, get, I get my gold star for, for having tried. What about, um, do you ever get, like speaking of failure, have you ever gotten turned down when you've like tried to put your art into a show? Oh and yeah. Would you consider that a failure or how do you look at that? Oh well, if you want artwork to be an art show, 
you usually send pictures to the person running the show and they decide if they'll put your artwork in it or not. And a lot of times they say no. Um, and usually it's because they have some idea in mind that you don't know about. Like maybe they're picking all paintings that are red, that have the color red in them that my painting didn't. Um, so I try not to think of it as a fail because it, it might not be the best fit for that particular show, but that doesn't mean that it's not good work. So I just think, well, now I just need to go out and find a different opportunity that my painting will be right for. So sometimes you look at a failure as an opportunity, is what you're saying? Yeah, failure is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I have a question about, um, didn't you just do an artist residency? I did. I did an artist residency at the Helene Wurlitzer Foundation in Taos. And an artist residency means that this place invited me to come live there and work there. Um, and it was all provided free for me, which was amazing that I got to stay there and work there without having to pay anything. And there were also other artists and writers and composers from all over the world that were also there working. And it was really cool to get to meet them and be inspired by them. So you got to meet all different kinds of artists from yeah. all over the world? Yes. And were there parameters or could you make whatever you wanted? Like was it your A own? lot of times there are parameters, but this one allows you to make any type of work that you want. Oh, once wow. they invite you to come. Yeah, so I ended up, I, I started out thinking I was going to make paintings of dog toys, because I think dog toys are very funny looking and I thought it would be fun to have these fun, funny paintings. And then when I got there, I ended up making paintings of people the whole time. So the place changed my idea of what I wanted to do. So it seems like you have a tendency for portraits. Yes. All right. I love people. <laughs> um, so I wonder if we could take a look around your studio. Yeah. All right. Start on this table. I don't know. <clears throat> it's a nice bright window you have there. I actually know the person in this painting. <laughs> so are you still working on this one? Yeah, so the part that's brown, I haven't put the color in yet. Okay. So it, it will all be in color when it's finished. And then there's red, you were just talking about a red painting. Yeah, that <laughs> one's not finished either. It's gonna have all different colors in it. All right, and this is the one that was behind you. Let's see, let's see. Wow, all these portraits. The students who had me last year for art know that I love um, portraits, especially self-portraits. That's like my favorite. Oh, me too. <laughs> Let's see. And there's a whole bunch over here. So, oh, oh yeah, is there anything else you think would benefit our students? Anything else you want to tell them that you think would benefit them? I was thinking that if some of the students really like art and are interested in being an artist, I wanted to tell them to um, just go for it. Because a lot of times we might be waiting for someone to tell us, like, hey, you're a great artist, you should do this. Um, but they might not. So it's up to us to tell ourselves, like, this is what I really want to do and just keep pursuing it and don't wait for somebody to give you permission to do the thing that you want to do. If you like making art, just keep making it no matter what. Right. Wow. Thank you so much. Well, Miss Hogg, that was really awesome that you go to got to go to Miss Volker's studio and you got to see everything that she's created so far. What was something that you took away that was meaningful to you? Uh, Miss Bernaclaw, it was so fun to be in her studio and see all those pieces up close, you know. But something she said that I really liked was don't wait for someone to tell you that you're good at something. It's up to us to tell ourselves, like, this is really what I want to do. What did you get? from the video, what did you take away? 
I really liked that when she was talking about the North Stars and which one applies to being an artist, I like how she mentioned being a hard worker when it comes to being an artist, because I think a lot of people think that art is easy or creating art can be easy, but it really takes a lot of time and effort. And even though you get to have those creative choices and that, that creative freedom, it still takes that time and that effort to make it the way that you want it, or if you want to sell something to somebody. So I thought that was really cool that she mentioned that. Even if they're hobbies, even hobbies take a little bit of hard work. Yeah, that's for sure. I like that she used that North Star. I hope you guys like that video too. And remember to power through, power through life. life.